running right. Got to Norton and has him really back. Oh, there's the right again. And Foreman punched him as he went against the ropes. Rondo is calling it a knockdown and the mandatory eight count. Luggish or no? Long puncher or no? That Foreman is a terrific puncher. There goes Norton again against the ropes. Rondo breaks. Puts him back, but Norton is already rubbery legged and hurt. And Foreman that he can indeed get up, but look at him. He's in bad, bad shape. It's all over, apparently. Yes, it is. The fight went less than two rounds, just as the Frazier fight. I don't have the official time, but George Foreman is the stunning winner and still the heavyweight champion of the world. Let's look at that first knockdown in slow motion. The first the right, then the left. Then the right uppercut, one of Foreman's devastating weapons. Then another right. Foreman all over him, measuring his target. Still another right. And another right uppercut, and Foreman and Norton goes down against the ropes. The referee watches as Foreman hits Norton again because Norton is not technically down. The knee hasn't touched the floor. Now it's called a knockdown. This will be the final knockdown. In the final round, the second round of the fight. First to left. Oh, Norton is in trouble. Foreman with a right. Oh, that right uppercut is devastating. Now Norton backing off. Another tremendous long right. And then the final left. Norton's head hitting the canvas with a terrific thud. And that